one's defending what she said. The president's pointing to the hypocrisy in the media, saying that the most horrible things about this president, uh, and nobody addresses it. Where was Bob Iger's apology to the White House staff for Jamel Hill calling the president and anyone associated with him a white supremacist? For Joy Bear calling Christianity a mental illness? Where was the apology for Kathy Griffin going on a profane rant against the president on The View? And where was the apology from Bob Iger for ESPN hiring Keith Olbermann after his numerous expletive-laced tweets attacking the president as a Nazi and even expanding Olbermann's role after that attack against the president's family? Uh, that was interesting tack from Sarah uh, Huckabee Sanders, and the president decided to tweet about 12 hours after uh, Roseanne, uh, uh, Roseanne blew up her career with the racial tweet that she put, put out, the show was canceled. And the president went out and said, oh, by the way, where's my apology from ABC? Well, look who's here to help us sort it out. Diamond and Silk, live wow. and in the flesh. Thank you for being here. Oh, oh thank you all for having us. And you're going to be cooking with friends a little bit later, oh, right? Oh, yes, absolutely, we are. yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, yes. That's delicious. Mm -hmm. So, wait. What, what's your reaction when you hear Sarah Huckabee Sanders say that? Well, she's absolutely right. You know, the president has been uh, really... They have assassinated his character, tried to the left, and there is no apology. Right. And then Roseanne tweets out something that, it, it was derogatory, it was offensive, she apologized for it, right. and the left just loses their mind. Yeah. We don't like the hypocrisy. You know, no, we don't like, we don't like words that's being used, okay? But those words are used from black people on us. I mean, black people call us monkeys, coons, Uncle Toms. They do it all the time. The left don't holler about that. But as soon as Roseanne, who happens to be a white woman, tweeted out, oh, you're a racist. Yeah. Well, see, racism is just not one-sided. Right. we got to look at all sides. Nobody should do it, and I don't care what color your skin is. And the sad thing is that the person that's crying racism the most is the person that's the race baiter. That's the person that's putting out the racist comments and so forth to us. If you go to the Diamond and Silk Wall of Shame, you will see a lot of racist comments made mm. towards two black females who love God, love this country, and love our president. And they're calling us all of these derogatory names, including monkey. It cuts well, I will just add this, sure. too. The, uh, Roseanne must have been watching you because you were on with Neil Cavuto yesterday. She tweeted at you guys, right? Yes, she did. And you know what? It, I don't she care. She thanked who, you. Yes, because yeah. I don't think she should be, I don't think anybody should care to assassinate her. She made a mistake. That's okay? right. Okay, all right? She made a mistake. And this is a teachable moment. This is one thing that I like that Valerie Jarrett said. This is a teachable moment. Okay, let's teach. Yeah. Let's, okay, we're going to have to teach people, listen, you don't get to call other people names. Using the word monkey and, and, and identifying that to a black person, that is derogatory, that is wrong. Because maybe she just didn't know. Maybe some people don't know. Yeah. So now is the moment to teach and not the fame and, and just beat her down that's and, right. and, and, and I don't like that And part. not to mention, look at all of the other shows that's on ABC that makes these derogatory racist remarks towards the President of the United States, towards his supporters. They're still on air every single day. Mm -hmm. That's right. You will find a show that Certainly does that. Certainly a double standard. And, that's right. And many in the media, including a host at another channel, say this isn't just about Roseanne, it's not just about Trump, it's about the people that support President Trump. This is what Chris Hayes tweeted yesterday. He said Roseanne's problem turned out to be that she far too authentically represented the actual worldview of a significant chunk of the Trump base. So somehow now that represents folks that support this. Movie. That's a lie. You know, she claimed that she was making a joke and it was a bad joke, okay? Mm -hmm. She's a comedian, okay. She apologized for it. But yeah. that's not the representation of the Trump base. We are loving, caring people. That's we're right. not racist. That's we right. love God, we love this country. So how dare yeah. him say that? And that's tweet, what we're talking about right there. One tweet don't make you a racist, okay? Right. And they wanna talk about and say that she's done all of these different things and said all of these different things. If you look at the left wing media TV right now, you will see a lot of racist remarks, a lot of race baiting going on. You, once again, people are hypocritical when I look at the, the, the divisiveness that's going on from the left. They sit on these shows and they call our president a racist. Or a Nazi. To, yeah, or, or, and, and call Diamond and Silk a Nazi. Mm -hmm. You know, we're not racist. Our president is not racist. He is a realist, and the only color he sees is green, and he wants everybody to have That's some right. of it. All right, media is now attacking Melania. She hasn't been out in public since she had the surgery a few weeks ago on the 14th of May. 
This is, uh, this is one of the headlines for Time. Melania Trump tweets she's feeling great. She hasn't been seen publicly in weeks. CNN says Melania Trump hasn't appeared in public for 20 days. The Mercury News missing Melania Trump. The First Lady tweets she's feeling great, but mystery remains. Your thoughts? You, you know what? The, this is what the left wing media do. They. they they conspiracy. This is conspiring, them conspiring yeah. trying to trying to just get make up a narrative narrative and then keep it going, keep it right. going, keep it going. Leave our first lady alone. Yeah. Leave she, our president well, it's alone. It's no mystery. She had surgery. She so has surgery. She tweeted out. I see the media is working overtime, speculating where I am and what I'm doing. Rest assured, I'm here at the White House with my family, feeling great, working hard on behalf of children and the American people. And she also has uh, her relative, um, her uh, her parents who live uh, close by. Wow. Why is that hard to believe? Barron, by the way, is uh, plays soccer. Is the practices four times a week. I'm sure she wants to be a part of that. She's a hands-on parent, and on weekends he's got two, uh, one or two games. So people, you know, she does do normal stuff. She do normal stuff. It's not hard for us to believe it, but it's hard for the left to believe it. It's hard to, for the left to believe that we really have people now in that White House Real that's people. working that's for right. the American people, that's and right. I love it. That's right. You know what's underappreciated? They have a soccer goal right outside these yes. windows, yes. right outside the Oval Office, <laughs> which wow. Barron better be accurate or it's going to cause a <laughs> national stir because it's going to break a, break a window. Uh, Thank you so much. Thank well, where's your next tour? Next tour is in California. Yes. Rancho Mirage, California. So go get your tickets, yes, yes. at diamondandsilk.com. And we, listen, you're going to have more of them. You can't have too much diamond and silk. They're going to come back to make some banana pudding. Yes. yes.